why do I want to go to Africa? Because that's just been my dream for so many years. That's all I've ever really thought about. That's all I've ever wanted to do. About a year ago, I think I was watching TV, the World Vision or something on TV, and I just kind of came into my mind that I have the time and money right now, so I should be going over to, well, somewhere, like third world country, and helping out, seeing what I could do. I've always wanted to go and help people, and there's just always been something about Africa. I started looking into it and um, decided I wanted to volunteer. And well, I talked to Cindy about it a few months later. Jessica was talking about it in the summer, I believe, and saying how she was planning to go to Africa. And I said, well, I have to go too. That's been my dream, so you're taking me with you. The next day I woke up, I'm like, I'm going to go to Africa. When we get to Africa, our biggest thing is that we're going to do volunteer work. That's the whole point of the trip. We started looking at different organizations, came across International Volunteer HQ. It's an organization that they don't really do much marketing, so therefore they can send you over there for a lot cheaper. You have to pay for your flight, and then you get there and you pay them, and that covers your accommodations, your food, and your program. The volunteer organization we're going through is based in New Zealand, but they um, have like, partners in many countries partnership in Tanzania have placed me in an orphanage called Cradle of Love and it's uh, an orphanage that deals with abandoned babies, toddlers, uh, they're actually, I think there's a couple orphanages that accept babies but this is one of the only ones that accepts babies um, that are HIV positive. The program that I will be doing is working in a school. Hopefully I will be working with children who have different disorders like autism and Down syndrome. I've always worked with kids and I took a course in school doing a child and youth care work and I was hoping that that would always kind of lead me to Africa in a way so I can go there and work with kids. I've actually been following Cradle of Love's blog and um, hearing of the new babies that are coming in and babies that they lose and it seems like it's going to be definitely a, an emotional placement but I'm still looking forward to it. I might get emotional. A little bit. There might be tears. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's definitely going to be eye-opening. I'm not really sure in what ways exactly. I'm a little nervous. Um, it hasn't really hit me yet that we're even going on the trip. I'm excited just for the whole experience. My sister-in-law, she traveled to South Africa. And one thing that she told me that really stuck with me, she's like, you go there and you think that you can change Africa, that you're going to be able to do all these things. She's like. But what really happens is that Africa changes you. So we'll see.